uh, I want to take you on the journey uh, from our idea to the app source and what we have learned uh, when we submit our first uh, app to the to the app source. So um, yeah, from my side, uh, I'm Florian Gasler. I'm a company owner from a small company in Austria, mainly in the Sherman and Teams development, and we have five. People and we are working uh, since 15 years in the Microsoft uh, SharePoint and Teams um, yeah, development. And yeah, um, yeah. so let's start through uh, what we had as a, an idea uh, starting in March 2022. Uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, um, our SharePoint and Teams individual development uh, projects were going yeah, a little bit not, not so smooth. So um, I didn't want to, to put my uh, colleagues into short-term working, so we decided, uh, hey, let's build an, an app for the app source and learn something. And yeah, what the basic idea was, we looked through the Microsoft Teams user voices, and uh, in the top 10, there was the support hashtag functionality. And we thought, hey, this sounds cool, let's give it a try. We know that Microsoft will bring this up because it's already available in Jammer and stuff like that, but um, yeah, we had the idea that we want to learn something, we want to put something in the app source or first app, and uh, we want to develop something useful for us and for the community, because as Tracy van der Sef, uh, is, is showing here, we had the same problem that uh, we our Teams channels were growing uh, on and on, and, and we want to make an, an, a little bit more structure with, with tagging into it. And, yeah, so we gave it a try and started in April 2020 with an MVP, and we choose our extended point. And, and luckily, with this with the texting functionality, we need nearly everything. Uh, we need a bot, we need a, um, a message extension, and we need a tab for it. So it was a good thing to learn. We planned our architecture, and of course, we need some uh, something to save and stuff like that. So we need some some Azure in the background, and we planned our authentication. So um, yeah, meanwhile, we, we put it also on, on on the market to test it. Uh, we presented to existing customers, and we put uh, some some sketch note on our website to get a little bit feedback what others think about the functionality. And yeah, the idea was good uh, and and we give it a try and started the development um, and had a few consumptions about it so we started with um, the principle of least privilege so because we we know that it's a big issue when you install something from the store it should be um, yeah the least privilege and stuff like that so um, we tried to to fight um, here as brave as possible so to say um, we wanted to use our whole DevOps and all the learn here at, for the deployment and stuff like that, because as I said before, we were only individual um, project development, uh, and therefore, yeah, we also put everything into DevOps, but uh, we wanted to put here uh, the whole development to staging and production to, to the Azure uh, into DevOps that we can really um, yeah, have a, a smooth deployment uh, from new functionalities and stuff like that. Yeah, then uh, we also looked at the date step and the adaptive card development, of course, um, because we also only uh, put this in the, in the individual projects. And yeah, of course, we used here the Fluent UI and stuff like that. And then also we um, did our uh, homework with the Asia architecture and stuff like that. So. Um, what was the outcome? Um, my time is a little bit uh, short, so I only will show you here in the in the screenshot because uh, the basic part is coming afterwards with the with the submission process. So uh, what it basically has done in in September last year, uh, we were able to tag messages. We could mention the the tag team bot and and search for um, for tags and tag the message or go over the message extension and search there and put some some um, tags some adaptive card back into the into the message. Um, that we have there a, a, a adaptive card with a deep link to our DAP um, to have them easily find the text messages in our tab, so to say, yeah, that we can, um, yeah, go to the tag, uh, text 
tab <laughs> and uh, yeah, search there and and uh, filter there and and stuff like that and make combinations and get out here information quite easily. So this water resort, um, as as we were um, known from our individual development projects, um, and thought, hey, come on, let's put it in the store. It should be quite easy. Um, and we started with the documentation and found out, um, come on, that's not that easy as we thought. Um, we put it on our wiki and, and created um, work items based on it. And as you see on the right side, um, yeah, it was nearly more work items for, for the publishing process than for uh, the, the, the building of the app by itself. Um, yeah, as, as I said, we are not a, a product company, we are an individual development company, so we had to learn the old a lot, and it took us really a long time uh, for uh, finishing yeah, the, the whole things about screenshots and marketing material and, and stuff like that. Um, so we did here a quite hard, had here a quite hard time. Also, of course, the, the, the projects were going on after the, the first lockdown and stuff like that. So um, yeah, we shifted it a little bit. And then the real submission process started in uh, end of February this year. Uh, we said, hey, come on, let's give it a try. Uh, let's put it on the store. Um, and we yeah, put it on the store. And two days later, we failed gracefully, so to say, as it's also written in the documentation that you should fail gracefully. Um, we have also done this. So uh, our first four Critical failures were um, some basic stuff in the manifest uh, that we um, yeah, missed our Microsoft Python network ID and stuff like that. And uh, our terms of use uh, did go on the, on the wrong URL um, and, and something. Uh, but the basic uh, problem was uh, the broken functionality. And uh, the broken functionality was that we um, have, of course, a message extension to, to tag this. And also we, of course, also used your teams and stuff like that to, to put it in and, and created the manifest. Um, but we missed one thing that we have, of course, um, and compose extension and, and another one, uh, the comment box. And we also yeah, uh, put in the in the manifest the comment box, uh, unfortunately, and Microsoft, of course, find it very uh, fast. Uh, and um, yeah, as the comment box has um, a complete uh, different context of, of the teams, yeah, we were not able to show our settings dialog because yeah, it doesn't make sense to 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 use the our tagging functionality in the comment box because we only could generate an an card and or a deep link to a tab, but yeah, that, that makes not really a sense here in this case. Um, so yeah, we missed this completely and Microsoft, yeah, get us on the, on the road again. And of course, um, as you see, these four failures were only some manifest problems. So we thought, hey, come on. A um, few hours later, we tried it again. Yeah, and, and put it on the, on the store again. And as you see, um, yeah, also three days later, we got the next rejection from Microsoft. Um, also again, with four failures, uh, also something in the, in the manifest, but also again, some broken functionality. Um, wonderful. Um, and yeah, what problem was here? Of course, uh, Microsoft tried it out everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, we didn't, yeah, thought about this. Uh, yeah honestly, because uh, for us, it was, it was clear, we have only draft API functionality to, to search messages in Teams um, channels and stuff like that, but not in private channels or in private chats or, or group chats. So it was clear that our functionality, our message extension is not useful in a, in a, um, in a private channel. But yeah, um, which is of course also there and Microsoft tried it out and we failed all the gracefully because we showed some, some menu that it's not working in a private channel. But what we also forget again was the settings dialog. And of course, as you see, also the settings dialog displayed a blank um, because yeah, um, the context is different and we have no uh, context there for showing the um, tabs or the text to create for this uh, in 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 this case yeah so yeah 
we we failed again. Um, and yeah, that that was 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 cool. Yeah, and, and then we sat back a little bit and, and wanted. Of course, we could be very easily put it again in the manifest and and, and submit it. But then we read everything in this in this documentation because the first time, is, as you have seen, we only took three four hours time for it. And there is a small sentence uh, beyond there uh, that's uh, written in the in the in the bottom. Uh, the next steps, and we yeah missed it at the first time and nearly at the second time also. That the next steps should not be to resubmit it, uh, but to contact the team submission team because they will give us uh, more guidance and uh, more help. And they even wrote it into the uh, into the statements that we should contact them. But yeah, unfortunately we have missed this. Um, because we were too enthusiastic to get it into the store. So um, then we started the real work with the team submission team. And uh, yeah, we had um, a half hour presentation with them and showing them everything. And then they reached us again. Um, with, and of course, they, they make a recording on it. And um, they're showing this also to the other team. Uh, members and to get us back with some um, more detailed information what we should do and what we should uh, fix and yeah we worked on really um, hard on it with for better description and for some graceful error messages and uh, also created new logo and I want to show you um, what Microsoft is really doing how far they are going and this is really good for us because um, yeah they're doing here really an, a great job uh, to help us for, well, I only can talk from, from our side because we are some individual development company um, to get here really the, the focus on a product and really to see um, yeah, what, what, on what things we should consider. Yeah, and the, for example, they the even looked on our website for the privacy statement and the terms of usage and uh, compared the, the teams tag team logo with the logo from our website and asked, hey, this looks not a nice user experience. This looks a little bit uh, different. And so, um, yeah, we we uh, had to explain this and, and also to, to check this. So, and then it was a little bit growing our, our things to do, but we um, yeah, uh, tried to, to figure it out. And the next step was uh, the whole testing of the whole um, mobile functionality because mobile first, of course, we, we tried this out also with some emulators and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, um, Microsoft also found two, two issues um, on Android and, and iOS devices. And happily, um, we could also help Microsoft to find a bug or to, to, to fix something on the, on the Android device because we have some deep linking from, from our uh, message um, from our message card to, to the tab. And this was not working in Android. And um, yeah, we uh, found out that this is really some, some issue on the, on the mobile platform and Microsoft already uh, fixed this. And so we could move on. And yeah, happily, um, we made it to the store um, around two months, two months later. Um, and yeah, I want to share some lessons learned. Um, what what from our side, what we have learned that we should consider this submission checklist from the beginning, of course, because there are um, very helpful insights. For example, with this, um, yeah, uh, clicking everywhere and doing everything, and 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 consider what the user is really doing, um, not what the what what the developer is, um, wants him to do, so to say. Um, think about the extension points. Um, it's also very interesting because, um, yeah, we, like you have seen in the manifest, because um, you should really um, try to figure out what you want to do, what great API functionalities you have, and um, what you can use for it. Um, we found out at the end, uh, because we are now two months nearly on the on the store and have around 200 tenants trying it out, um, that we should have done a more A and B tests uh, on the market and and um, try to to 
yeah, make a few functionalities a little bit different and stuff like that. Um, that we also should buy Android and iPhone uh, devices for real testing on the on the mobile because this could would have um, yeah do some some uh, less work for us. Um, that we of course uh, should calculate our Asia costs because um, as test um, staging and and uh, production environment is costing of course something. And what we have missed at the beginning that the, the application insights is a really um, powerful tool, um, but at the first submission we we basically missed the uh, the client uh, functionalities. Uh, so we yeah have included this now. Um, and yeah, we first were really afraid because we had a lot of, of of errors in it in the in the Asia application insights. But we found that out that this is coming from some robots um, which are using to try to to sign in to WordPress and stuff like that. So um, yeah, don't don't be afraid of these errors. Uh, sometimes they are not that bad. Yeah. yeah, and of course, as I already talked about is after the app source of publishing the work is not over, uh, especially um, to consider what, what people are really using or not uh, with the application insights, it's really helpful. And so, yeah, currently we, thinking what to go on as we said we this is free and we we wanted to put this for the for the community um yeah we are considering how to that we maybe also put it on github and stuff like that um or yeah also um doing a little bit uh, rework on it um and yeah so if you have some feedback for us uh, please feel free and and um also like i said it's 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 free of use and and we I think we will really will publish it on the on the GitHub for open source. So um, hopefully I didn't took too much time. And excellent stuff, Lauren. Yeah. You. Very, very cool. Thank you. Uh, as I mentioned in the chat, this is invaluable information. No doubt this is valuable for everyone that's looking to get into this space and uh, you provided that exposure. So thank you. Mm -hmm.